this is something I haven't done before. Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, St. Patrick's Day celebration on St. Patrick's Day. Hey, it's Andrew from Park Rovers, and we are back at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg for the St. Patrick's Day celebration on St. Patrick's Day. Let's go. And right when you walk into England, there's a giant shamrock and a photo op. I also want to point out here in England, there's a St. Patrick's Day scavenger hunt. This is active for the entire St. Patrick's Day celebration, not just today, but you grab a piece of paper right here. Since we're in England, let's check out what's new in the Emporium. Interesting, I think they just rearranged the setups here. This is the 2024 merch collection. I don't see anything new in here, but I don't recognize this snow globe. This is $17.99, nice. There's a 20% off all shot glasses sale right now. I don't think I've seen these mugs before. These are $16.99. So on the other side, they have the wolf collection we saw last time for Mardi Gras, but I don't recognize these jackets, these big bad wolf jackets. Look at this. <laughs> this is $74.99. $29.99 for this wolf t-shirt. And $54.99 for this wolf hooded sweatshirt. So I think that's all the new stuff in the Emporium. I probably missed a few things, but that was everything that was interesting to me. Behind the Emporium, get a good look at the construction here behind the sweet shop. And of course, there's the construction of the Squires Grill area here in England. Do a little peek over the fence. Is that stained glass new? That looks really nice. In Scotland now, here's the European barn owl. And of course, when we're in Scotland, we have to go to the stables. Got to see the Clydesdales. The border collies are usually in here, but they must be out back playing Lennox and Nessie. Here's Dustin. Here's Dakota. And Axel. Axel's getting a little snack. Ended up making a purchase here in Scotland. I got the Bush Gardens Hollow Scream Ale from Virginia Beer Co. I've actually never had this before. Scary good beer. So now we're over by Loch Ness Monster enjoying our Hollow Scream Ale and let's check out the construction. Unfortunately you can't get very close here in Scotland but looks like that ride sign has been repainted and there's some construction to the left. You can see all of the yellow track looking very nice. I can't wait for this to open. I know there's going to be a, a sighting center or a preview center that's going to be open in April. Also in Scotland you can see the sheep here and the looks like the border collies are running around. By the way, if you're looking for the Hello Scream Ale, it's over here at Tweedside Snacks. Right by Tweedside Snacks is Tweedside Gifts, where you can get some Loch Ness Monster merch. We've seen this before, so I'm gonna keep moving, but I want you to know it's available. Now we're gonna make our way to Italy. We just passed Forest of Fun and looking at Escape from Pompeii. It's currently 66 degrees on March 17th. 
And once it's a little warmer, Escape from Pompeii will be running once again. Looks like they might have freshly painted the basin. Not today, but recently. It's almost two o'clock, but I'm sure this looks awesome at nighttime with the green and orange lights on the walkway to Italy. So I'm gonna bypass Festa Italia. We rode Apollo's chariot last time, which was fantastic. Also very cold. The gardens here in Italy looking fantastic. One of the most beautiful theme parks in the world. Here in Italy at the theater is where you can catch the Irish Ivories. We just missed them. I was trying to catch them. Uh, but this is, a, this is a new musical performance for St. Patrick's Day Celebration 2024. So that's it for Italy. We are moving on to Oktoberfest in Germany via the Ponte del Accordo Bridge. Nice view of Loch Ness from the bridge here. Here's for Bolton dropping down. In Oktoberfest now, I want to point out that the former mock tower is called Prost Patio. A very nice shaded sitting area here. And I imagine during the season or later in the year, <laughs> they'll have a uh, beverage cart, maybe some snacks here. Of course, you also have snacks right nearby at the pretzel shop, Wilkeman. Is this a new digital sign? I was pointing these out last video. Wow. Also in Oktoberfest is basketball. You can win a giant banana or a pepper. I think the days of these regular signs are numbered. Just picked up my free member magnets at Der Marketplatz. They had blue or white right over by Dark Coaster, Dirt Market Plots. And right by Dark Coaster is Shenanigan Spirits where they have St. Patrick's Day themed cocktails and a cupcake. Now I think it's time to head inside Das Festhaus to see the Emerald Ensemble. There's five different show times today on Sunday, March 17th. Festhouse, it's time for the Brauhaus. And I ended up with an Irish red ale called Red Willie from Tradition Brewing out of Newport News. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So here's a look at the member hat. I'm hoping to pick this up in Ireland, but this is what they're giving out today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. This is cool. No so that was an awesome quick stop in Das Fest House and the Brow House. Now I think it's time to move on and get to Killarney, Ireland. And I'm hoping I can get that free orange member hat. This is also a member appreciation weekend, so they have special benefits. I always think this looks like Gordon Ramsay. Looks like he has a Pepsi now. Interesting. So now we're walking through Germany. We'll go through France, and then we'll be in Killarney. 
in one of the shops in Germany now, and I don't think that's for sale, but this giant nutcracker is. I always like to point this out. So this guy has a price tag of $4,999.99. And right next to him, you can get an assortment of German treats. And looking at the merch here, I just noticed this hat here, $32.99. I might have to pick this up. Also, ski school, $32.99. And I did it. After my discounts, this hat came to $17.78. So discounted from $32.99. Awesome. Unfortunately, it's not green, so. It's going in my backpack. Alpengeist climbing the lift hill now. In New France now and I remember when this was a social distancing escape where you could take your mask off. This is tempting, port wine tastings in Acadia Traders here. Hmm. I love the theming in this shop. Lots of Canadian merch as well. So if you want a Canadian polo shirt, you can come on in here. Not sure how much this is. Or you can pick up a moose for $34.99. Ah, the port wine tastings are over on the other side here. Really nice day here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. It's good to see Invader back open again. Over here by Griffin, and I noticed the Rockin' Celts go on at three. So I think we're gonna hang out in the area Till then, we have 17 minutes. Here at the wine bar in France, they have a shamrock mimosa for the celebration. I always like the patio here at the wine bar. I think since I'm here in France, it might be time for the first Les Frites of the season. A little poutine, maybe? Here it is, the Canadian poutine. I believe this is $11.99. I paid about eight bucks after some discounts. Poutine is of course fries topped with gravy and cheese curds. This is delicious. Now quite a crowd has gathered here for the rockin' Celts in France. love the rocking Kelts here at the Mardi Gras celebration. And now before we get to Killarney, I think it's time to get on the Skyride Aeronaut here in France. There's three stations. We're going to try to do a round trip ride.
well was pretty cool getting on the sky ride. You do have to get off at all three stations. Now we're passing by the aviary in my favorite spot here in Bush Gardens. And we're passing by the wolves where there's a trainer talk right now. They're more high value things that are going to change on a daily basis to make them more fun. It's also going to be a smaller portion of their diet since they are more high value. They're going to be things like cheese, hot dogs, turkey bacon, crab, shrimp, Italian meatball. Do it. Right. Um, so the different things that we do when we're working with these guys. Um, so your first day of work here, you're not going in with a wolf initially. You're actually going to wait about six months to a year to kind of a, build up a relationship with these guys first. Okay. Great. Um, so the different safety protocols we're going to have into place, we're going to have multiple spotters. So I'm actually spotting this session for Carrie as she's out there on stage. Um, another safety protocol we have into place when we're going in with these guys is we are not part of their pack in any way possible. Wolves kind of have a pack hierarchy, um, which means they're usually going to have an alpha male and an alpha female out in the wild. Those guys are going to be the boss. They're going to make the rules. And everybody else in the pack is going to have a place. Now, some of those ones that are going to be under that alpha are going to be looking for moments of weakness to move further up in the pack. That was awesome seeing a little bit of the trainer talks. And now we're headed into Ireland. So we're going to pass by Eagle Ridge here on the left and Killarney is up on the right. Happy St. Patrick's Day indeed. And Dublin Over is currently on stage. My favorite part about Lila is her lovely Irish eyes. When Irish eyes are smiling, shall I come more in spring? Now it's time for our free beer here at Grogan's Grill. Always love when Bush Gardens does this. Here's the free beer. They're currently pouring Rolling Rock. Cheers for free green beer. Now the crowds are exiting Celtic Fire. We got a uh, stilt walker. Thank you for celebrating with us here in Killarney. Hello, dear friend. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. No better place to be. Oh, we couldn't agree more. There is not a city in the world that loves St. Patrick's Day more than right here in Killarney. Is that right, Deidre? Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Now it is time to meet Clancy. Yeah, it's my guy. Again. It's the best guy in Killarney, Clancy. Great to meet you again. I'll see you next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So this is interesting. There's a member selfie station. Want to be part of something special? Take a selfie today. Interesting. And here it is, the member selfie station here. Castle Old Sullivan just down the way from Clancy. In Emerald Isle Gifts now, I noticed they have the Grogan's Pub line of merchandise here. I haven't seen this bar mat before, but there's my shirt, the one I'm wearing. And a, and a nice hat, $34.99 on the hat. One thing I noticed over here is they have a grow your own luck four leaf clover. I don't know if this is guaranteed to grow four leaf clovers. Maybe it is. Interesting. This is $12.99. Tempted to get this. Lots of different Irish merchandise, including this Celtic bracelet, which is $17.99. Oh, this is awesome. A Jim Shore truck load of luck. $84 for the truck load of luck. My goodness, a Guinness snow globe. This is $24.99. Lots of 
different items here for Guinness. <laughs> and I, I turned around, there's, there's even more. This is, this is a, a lot of Guinness merchandise. I like this shirt, $39.99. It's kind of like vintage looking. A wall mounted cap catcher, interesting. $39.99, I think they mean bottle caps, of course. And some golf balls. Some art too, nice. That was a fun look inside Emerald Isle Gifts. So now we have 30 minutes to the next St. Patrick's Day celebration that takes place right here in Killarney. So I think we're gonna head into Grogan's Pub and get a pint. And we ended up with the Berry Burst, a nice low ABV, 3% ABV cider from Middlebury, Vermont. This is a very good, or very good if you will, and a great way to end my time here at Bush Gardens. Hello there. Are you storing a leprechaun in that thing? <laughs> that's right. It's small. Uh, probably three leprechauns, actually. Three lepre that's quite an impressive amount of leprechauns. That's in there. terrifying. Really? Actually, I was looking. He's got a funny name on his hat. Tampa Bay. <laughs> no, Uli, it's not a name of him. Right. See, he's just a wee bit lost now. See, where, most where am I? South for the winter. He's well, you're in Killarney. Oh, Killarney, Ireland, of course. <laughs> How did you not know that all? I mean, <laughs> could not tell with the funny accents. I did just, I did just meet Clancy. He's actually still oh. over there. Oh. Yeah, don't. Don't tell him about the leprechauns in there. He might get a wee bit offended by that. <laughs> oh. I don't trust that guy. So how do you get this tall? I'm, I, Every, every year I think you get taller. I do, I do actually. Um, all you got to do mm -hmm. is drink a lot of green beer. Indeed. I've had six kegs today, <laughs> I'm going on seven. Six kegs? It's St. Patrick's he Day. Just, he packs it away I mean, real well. Well, here's the thing, I'm half giant. That helps him with his suit. So it helps. Okay. Mr. Bear, oh. I'm seeing running into you oh, here. Yes. Hello there, oh, Mario. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interacting with the characters here at Bush Gardens is probably the best part of the St. Patrick's Day celebration. Oh no, he's off to get the green beer. <laughs> he's getting in line. I don't have a Bush Gardens Williamsburg hat that's green, so I wore this one today. It's 5.15 and it's almost time for the 5.30 Killarney Village Celebration. The Killarney Village Celebration is a show that happens multiple times a day here in Killarney. I'd probably say it's the highlight of the St. Patrick's Day Celebration here, so excited to experience it once again, and then I think I'm gonna hit the road after. It's nearly time for the top to begin. Yes, Maori. 
you? Didn't you hear? Rosie McCann has gotten stuck in the backwards town. Maybe can't you down? So I think with that, our day is done here at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time. Just a fantastic day here on St. Patrick's Day. You gotta take my hat off. Uh, it's a bigger hat. Loch Ness Monster resurfacing this spring. Kids weekends up next. Looking forward to getting back to food and wine, hopefully. <laughs>